Today's video has been sponsored by MassDrop.com. Welcome back Ultima Weapons, it's the Night Sky Prince again. 2018 has served us very well, with many excellent JRPG releases, such as Dragon Quest XI and Octopath Traveler. But now, as we look forward to the future of JRPGs in the coming year of 2019, we have our heads held high that this generation will continue not to disappoint. No need to worry whatsoever. Today's list will be the top 10 most anticipated JRPGs for the coming year, and something on this list is almost guaranteed to be a must-play game for you. So without any further delay, let's get started. Number 10, Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. When Tales of Vesperia first launched on the Xbox 360, many fans were not happy. While Vesperia is a fan favorite for the many who've played it, most JRPG fans simply didn't want to go out of their way to get an Xbox 360, especially when they had already spent so much money getting a PlayStation 3. Eventually, it did end up coming to the PlayStation 3, but for Japan only, meaning that Western gamers would pretty much never get to experience this game outside of the Xbox Xbox 360, until now. With the game finally coming to PlayStation 4 and Steam, the vast majority of the JRPG demographic can finally enjoy this title. It absolutely thrills me to finally be able to get to sink my teeth into this one. Look forward to Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition on January 11, 2019. Number 9 is Lost Souls Aside. Lost Souls Aside was a game that was initially created by one person. That's right, one person. Person. His name was Bing Yang, inspired by the 2013 E3 trailer for Final Fantasy XV. Bing used Unreal Engine 4 to create his own game inspired by the impressions that were left on him. Since then, Sony has helped fund this game and supply him with more manpower to finish the job. This game looks absolutely incredible, and ironically features more fluid combat than the source material that inspired it. Lost Souls Aside is expected sometime in the year 2019 exclusively for PlayStation 4. Number 8. Grand Blue Fantasy Project Relink While the original Grand Blue Fantasy is an extremely popular mobile game in Japan, it has spawned a brand new console JRPG. It's currently being developed by Platinum Games. This game includes four-person cooperative multiplayer, or single player with three AI characters, meaning this will be an epic JRPG that you can play with your friends or by yourself. With the incredible track record of Platinum Games, this project is sure to be absolutely jaw-dropping. Number 7. Catherine. Full Body. Now I know what some of you are going to say. This isn't technically an RPG. It's a puzzle game with a meta that just feels like an RPG. But let's also be honest and admit that JRPG fans are pretty much the only ones interested in playing this. From the creators of Persona, this game is one of Atlas's greatest masterpieces. The original Catherine was one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 3, and it has been long overdue for a remaster. You play as Vincent, a man who is having an affair on his girlfriend, named Catherine, with yet another girl, also named Catherine. This remaster not only supports new features and additional story, but also adds a new mysterious pink-haired girl into the mix named Rin. There is literally no other game on Earth even remotely similar to this one, and with it shaping up better than ever, it's a must-buy. Expect Catherine Full Body on Valentine's Day. Yes, really, it's slated to release February 14th, 2019. Number 6, Edge of Eternity. This game is being put together by a team of only 9 people. It draws inspiration from such series as Final Fantasy, Star Ocean, and Xenoblade Chronicles. It has an active time battle system, similar to older Final Fantasy games, and features an absolutely massive and gorgeous sprawling world to explore. Edge of Eternity is currently an early access game that just released on Steam and is set to receive major updates through the year of 2019. You can get started with the game now and see it evolve and become polished, or you can jump in at a much later point when the game is significantly better. But overall, you must play this at some point. Aside from some other games on this list which I consider to be its equal, this shows infinitely more promise than any other indie game I've seen in a long time. Number 5. Shinmu 3 Gosh, is 2019 really the year of the Kickstarter JRPG? It's odd to think that Shinmu 3 is on this list at all, much less a game that is actually happening. It was honestly one of those games that was next to Half-Life 3 in terms of likelihood of never happening. But nowadays, anything is possible with the magic of crowdfunding. Shinmu 3 is a game that I personally kickstarted, 
all the way back in 2015 when it was announced at Sony's E3. Shinmu 1 and 2 are absolute legends that push innovation and storytelling in video games. Fans have wanted an epic conclusion to this series for over a decade now, so did my money go to waste or will Yu Suzuki be able to deliver the final climax to the series? We'll find out when the game launches August 27, 2019. Number 4. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel Decisive Edition The Legend of Heroes series is one of the highest quality JRPGs to go completely ignored. Seriously, the average review scores for these games are often in the high 80s and 90s. This series is being given yet another chance to shine. For those of you looking for a good turn-based JRPG to play, look no further. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 are bundled together on this disc. The game will be launching January 22, 2019. Number 3. Code Vein This game is said to be inspired by the Dark Souls series, and that influence definitely shows. However, its art style for me personally is much more enjoyable to look at, sporting a gorgeous manga style to all of its characters. It's good to see a trend of punishingly difficult games come back, ones that require real skill to play, and make you feel so accomplished when you're able to beat them. I am absolutely fascinated with this game, and it has the potential to be one of the greatest hits of 2019. There is still so much we don't know about this title, as it's still a bit shrouded in mystery for the moment, but we are all dying to know more, and hopefully they won't keep us waiting much longer. Code Vein is set to launch sometime in the year 2019. Number 2. Judgment The creators of the Yakuza series bring forth a brand new project, Judgment. Judgment is said to be part of the Yakuza series, and even takes place in the same city as Yakuza 6, and, for the first time in the series' history, will actually feature an English dub. This is the first time since the original Yakuza for PlayStation 2 that Sega has delivered a full English dub for a game set in the Yakuza series. Sega said it put in extra work to ensure that Judgment's English audio was a little more complex and quote, preserve the original Japanese script of Judgment as faithfully as possible. The game marks the perfect opportunity for those of you who've always wanted to try a Yakuza game but just didn't know where to start. Judgment is coming to the West in summer 2019. Number 1. Final Fantasy VII <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. Actual number 1. Kingdom Hearts 3. I think you guys all should have seen this one coming. Kingdom Hearts 3 is one of the most anticipated games of all time. Fans have been waiting for the epic inclusion to the Xehanort saga for ages. No more subtitled games, and no more PSP or DS or 0 0.5238 whatever. No more command decks where Balloon and Surge are objectively the correct answer to every fight. Kingdom Hearts 3 has finally gone gold. The game is finished and will be likely the most talked about JRPG of the entire year. An action RPG that started out as a collaboration between Squaresoft and Disney has evolved into one of the most complex series that either company has to offer. There is no game more deserving of the top spot than this one. So Ultima Weapons, I want to know. Which games on this list are you most excited for? Or did I completely miss the JRPG that you were most excited for? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and be sure to let me know in the comments below. I seriously make an effort to read every single one of my comments, so if you leave something, I probably will read it. And if you really love JRPGs, I mean really love JRPGs, be sure to head on over to our Facebook group, Ultima Square Enix Plus JRPGs. It has over 200 hours of gameplay, over 400 different romance options, and the main character has amnesia. Link in the description below. Today's video has been sponsored by MassDrop.com. I don't know about you guys, but when I play my favorite JRPGs, I have to be able to hear the game's music in the highest quality. If you guys feel the same way, Look no further than the Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilee headphones. Using the latest headphone audio technology, they have ideal amounts of bass, mids, trebles, and sound mixing that almost sounds identical to a $500 pair of headphones, but only for the price of $150. I have to wear headphones a lot while recording these videos, and these are seriously the most comfortable headphones I've ever owned. And it comes with a two-year warranty, so there's absolutely no reason to hesitate. So if you want $500 quality for only a fraction of the cost, then you've met your match. Be sure to check them out in the description below.